Welcome to the day that we're leaving Hiroshima. We do not normally do travel videos, but today is special. We are taking a fast train between Hiroshima and Osaka, but not the train behind me. We're riding Hello Kitty. Yes, we are really excited about this. Even I'm excited to go on the Hello Kitty train. Hello Kitty takes longer between Hiroshima and Osaka, but when we heard about this train a few years ago, we were really excited to have the opportunity to take it now. Then in Osaka, we're gonna get our first Ekibet before traveling by probably a faster train up to Tokyo. <laughs> this is a long day of trains, but we're ready. Like this train, let's get going. Like this train, we better get going. <laughs> Come on train, cooperate. Like this train, we better get going. I could geek out and all the technical and engineering stuff. I'll spare you the details. this car to be pink because the, that's what the photos that we saw were but this one's blue ah so boring so we should go in search of maybe some special themed cars let's go wash basin I've ever seen on a train. It's not a functional payphone anymore, but it still is cute. Hiroshima is the maple leaf cooking we had. I like, I gotta go to Hyogo, I like bread. <laughs> There's so many cute little photographs here. <laughs> Drawings, illustrations, illustrations. It's Hello Kitty's favorite stuff from all over Japan. I love that. This is actually a great summary of our trip so far. <laughs> We've been to Hyogo and we saw these things. We've been to Osaka and we definitely saw that. We did not go to Nara, but we saw deer when we were in Mayajima. We stayed in Okayama in order to visit Kurashiki. In Hiroshima, we definitely enjoy the Hiroshima-style okonomiyaki. And in Yamaguchi, we went to Iwakuni, which is where this bridge is. The others will have to wait for our next trip. <laughs> are so 
called Giddy. The Okayama. And here she even with the cookies. So I'm kind of tempted by them. All right, they have a thing here that translates to a, a lottery where you pay 500 yen and they put your hand in a box and something magical comes out. So I think we're gonna play it. <laughs> All right, here goes. Now this is the cutest train. We don't normally call trains cute, but this one's cute. It's also not the fastest way to get from Hiroshima to Osaka. Hello Kitty takes a lot longer than other Shinkansens along the same route because she has to wave at all of her friends and let them come on board. At least that's what we're telling ourselves. realize that by reserving a seat on this train we actually end up with more comfortable seats. They're wider and there's a bit of space in between two seats and drink holders on each side. And if it's a non-reserved seat, <laughs> they're much closer together. I didn't realize that and our reserved seats with our regional pass were free. Osaka is really loud here. Our next mission for the day is to try to find some ekiben, which one of our viewers told us we had to get when we came through here. So, mystery viewer, whoever said that, that's what we're off to do. Then we'll be taking a train from here to Tokyo, and it's going to go a lot faster than what we did this morning. Express get okay. Which one are you gonna get? There's so many. We got our Eki bin. We have one more stop to make before we find our way to a train, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. <laughs> two dimensions on the video, it's really difficult to represent how long these noses are. Maybe 25 feet? And they move so quickly uh, that they go by so quickly, it's really hard to tell how big they are.
hot dog. This is definitely a kid's meal, but we had to stick with the Hello Kitty theme. Oh, that's pretty good. And for her final act. Oh, that is really good. I have no idea what that is. It's delightful. It's like squishy and delicious. Mm. So it's like, really good. So it's like a fruit or a can. on the oven and warm, but this is still delicious. This was a good call. Well, it turns out that we were sitting in a row with somebody immediately next to us. So out of consideration for him, we did not narrate our food, but the Ekiban was really good. Did you know what you ate, Bill? Um, I knew some of the things and some of the things I had tried, but maybe half of it was completely new to me, uh, which is actually what we've learned with Japanese food. There's just so much variety and it's all good. We did share both meals, for the record. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. And then we polished off half a cheesecake, which we do not regret because it was so good the first time. I'm doing it. This is happening. <laughs> Thank you, viewer, who told us about that cheesecake. It was incredible. It's amazing stuff. Next time, we'll know to carry a fork with us. This time, we were prepared. We did not have to eat it <laughs> with only our mouths. <laughs> it was delicious. We brought our sporks. We were ready. Wow, that second train was so much faster than the first one. And it like banks on the curves and the countryside was beautiful. And we got here to Tokyo so fast. The sensation of speed is, is really hard to describe, but it's completely different. Uh, the Shinkansen's versus the regular train. Japan is so lucky to have this as a travel method. I wish that we had this in the United States. So what a great day, starting with Hello Kitty and finishing with such a fast train. This was amazing. For us, it's a novelty. For everyone else on the train that's Japanese, this is just a train trip. It's just normal. It's bizarre to us. If you enjoy trains, <laughs> we actually have a video that we did in Belgium that features a fantastic train museum. And we're gonna link to that right up here. So if you wanna learn more about trains in Belgium, give that one a try. Otherwise, we'll be back with more Japan in the next video. See you next time, bye.